So seventh grade, I'm a brand new kid. I grew up in a little small town, come to Marion. Walk into my classroom. The teacher introduces me in front of way too many people and really uncomfortable. And this dark haired kid walks right up to me, sticks his hand out, looks me in the eye and says, <coughs> Hi, I'm Brad. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I got to answer with, hi, I'm Jane. Yeah. And we've been best friends ever since. You guys, now listen to what I'm going to say. This is the blueprint of what marriage is all about. And the Bible gives a blueprint on how we should treat our spouse. In Romans chapter 12, verse 10, Paul's speaking here. He says, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourself. And in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, Paul is speaking again. He said, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. And I call that grace. I found a poem that I'd like to share with you guys that kind of fits well on what's going on today. It says, I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. I love you, not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. party through some friends. Um, he fell in love with me at right when he saw me and he kind of um, I got his or he got my number and we kind of chatted for a while but we were just friends. Um, he chased me for three years before I finally gave him a chance um, and um, we have dated for five years um, when we were Close to four, he proposed to me up in the Mississippi, um, looking over looking over the Mississippi on a bluff. Um, we were taking a picture and they and actually was videotaping. Our friends were and that's where he proposed. So I fell in love with him. Um, oh gosh, it was after the three years went by, I knew that I sort of liked him but didn't know if I should give him a chance or not. So I asked my mom and sister and they told me to go for it because he loved doing the outdoor stuff. We hunted all the time together. Um, and so I gave him a chance and I fell in love with every quality he had. Um, and he's just everything that I wanted. And so I don't know why I had him chase me for three years. <laughs> Thank you. 
you. You're welcome. Thank you. Take her right hand. And I want you to repeat after me, okay? Mm -hmm. right. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our faith. Of our faith. And a binding love. And binding love. Now, Lindsay, you got the ring. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, get ready and put it on. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. Token and pledge. Of our faith and a binding love. Of our faith and a binding love. Shove it on there. <laughs> In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31, it says this. And as the scriptures say, a man will leave his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one and that's what happened right here, right here. by the power invested in me by god i now pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit 